I first met Rocky Marciano in a Los Angeles gymnasium. We were both working out. I was training for the movie Champion, and he was training to become the real champion of the world. I remember once he kept looking at me and finally walked over, gently took my chin in his hand and said, what a target. Yeah, I'm proud to have been Rocky Marciano's friend. He's a great man in many ways, and what a career. A high point in his life, September 1952, Philadelphia. Fifteen rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world from Boston, Massachusetts, wearing black trunks with a white stripe, weighing 184 pounds, the challenger Rocky Marciano. From Camden, New Jersey, wearing white coats with a black stripe, weighing 196 pounds, the heavyweight champion, Jersey Joe Walcott. What a surprise. I never thought Walcott would come out so fast. He just came out and hit me with two good punches, had me hurt, and went right after me. got up, he just came after me and threw something like 30 punches before the bell at the end of that round. Jersey Joe Walcott was a great fighter the night I fought him. I'm very proud to say I beat a great fighter on that particular night. I would like to say that Jersey Joe Walcott taught me many things, showed me he had guts and courage and durability and all of the things that make up a great professional. I want to thank Jersey Joe Walcott for bringing out the best in me. I really didn't know I had that much going for me until I fought a Walcott who made me come from behind, come from the floor to win the title in an impressive style. It was Walcott's fight. He came very close to uh, holding on to his title. Marciano, the greatest champion in the history of boxing, a legend in his own time. He was the only undefeated retired champion in any division, and his record was unsurpassed. 49 victories and 49 fights, 43 of them by knockouts. Experts rate the Walcott fight as one of the most exciting bouts in ring history. Tell me. What punch did you hear, uh, did you feel that you uh, knocked Joe Walcott down with? I thought it was the right uppercut that uh, really knocked him out, Al. Well, that's what it looked to me like. I thought the left hook was setting him up pretty good for that punch, and you finished it with that right hand uppercut. Is that right? I think the left hook hurt him, and he dropped right into, the, right into my right hand. 
one of the reporters said, I guess that's the finish of Jersey Joe Walcott. And we were all surprised the next day when we picked up the paper to read that Jersey Joe demanded a rematch that he was entitled to because of the great fight.